For fans of something a little supernatural these horror comedy, and even horror rom-com, K-dramas are perfect binge viewing. Several South Korean dramas center around supernatural elements like fairies, spirits, and the concepts of immortality and rebirth. So if you are a fan of Korean dramas or fantasy movies this video is for you. Here are the top 6 fantasy drama of all time. Number 6 The Legend of the Blue Sea. The series centers on the love story of Shim Cheong, Jun Ji Hyun, a mermaid, and Hyo Jun Jae, Lee Min Ho, a witty con artist. Focusing on rebirth, fate, and unrequited love, their tale is juxtaposed with the parallel story of their Josong era incarnations, the mermaid, Se Hava, and town head, Kim Dam Ryong. This drama is one of the most popular drama in K-drama history especially because of the fan following of Lee Min Ho all over the world. Number 5 Strong Woman Do Bong Soon Do Bong Soon is a petite, unemployed woman who is honest and kind. She appears little and sweet on the outside, but she is in fact very, very strong. In her family, for generations the women have been gifted Herculean strength to use for the greater good. If abused, however, their power will be taken away. Whilst standing up for herself after gang members bully her, she finds herself approached by Ahn Min Hayek, the handsome and somewhat childish CEO of Ainsoft, a gaming company. Ahn Min Hayek, who holds a great distrust towards the police, witnessed the whole exchange of Bong Soon's superhuman strength and now wants to employ her as a bodyguard after being threatened by an unknown enemy. Min Hayek falls in love with super strong Bong Soon at first sight, but there's a catch. Bong Soon has eyes for someone else, police officer and childhood friend, in Guk Du, whom she has known since high school. When chaos ensues after a series of kidnappings in Du Bong Soon's hometown of Do Bong Dong, Do Bong Ji Lu, Bong Soon must decide whether to use her strength and stand up to evil, or play it safe and keep her powers hidden from the world. Combined with the love triangle she faces between in Guk Du. Number 4 Moon Lovers During a total solar eclipse, a 25-year-old 21st century woman, Go Ha Jin, Lee Ji Yoon, is transported back in time to the Goryeo dynasty. She wakes up in the year of 941 in the body of Hisu, among the many royal princes of the ruling Wang family during the reign of King Tejo. She initially falls in love with the gentle and warm-hearted 8th prince Wang Wook Kang Han Yul, and later Wang So, Lee Jun Gi, the fearsome 4th prince who hides his face behind a mask and is given the derogatory label of wolf dog. As the story develops, Hisu finds herself unwittingly caught up in palace politics and the rivalry among the princes as they fight for the throne. Number 3 Goblin Kim Shin is a goblin who is also a protector of souls. He lives together with an amnesiac grim reaper who is in charge of taking deceased souls. Together the two of them sees the dead off into the afterlife. Meanwhile, Ji Yoon Tuk is a high school student who despite her painful reality, remains optimistic. She ends up falling in love with the goblin. Kim Sun is an owner of a chicken shop, a bright and attractive girl who is loved by all men. Number 2 The Uncanny Counter Extraordinary Rumor is based on a wetoon of the same name and tells the story of demon hunters called counters who come to earth under the guise of being employees at a noodle restaurant in order to capture evil spirits that have returned to earth in pursuit of eternal life. So Moon is the youngest of the counters. After suffering from a mysterious car accident as a child, he eventually becomes a central figure among the counters. Duhana has the ability to sense the locations of evil spirits, even those that are hundreds of kilometers away. She can also read memories of others through touch and works with Somun to do away with evil spirits. Gamotak is a counter with incredible strength. He's a former police officer who lost his memory seven years ago after an accident and is unable to stand idle in the face of injustice. Gamotak is also Somun's mentor. Number 1 Hotel del Luna Nestled deep in the heart of Seoul's thriving downtown sits a curious hotel, the like of which no one has ever seen before. Old beyond measure, the building has stood for millennia, an ever-present testament to the fact that things are not always what they seem. Running this hotel is Jung Man Wool, a greedy, suspicious soul who has spent the past thousand years acting as the establishment's CEO. Cursed for a sin she can no longer remember committing, Man Wool is doomed to spend all of the eternity running this odd establishment, catering to the needs of a most peculiar clientele. Her only hope of escape is to find someone who has committed a worse sin than her own but after a thousand years, she's beginning to lose hope. However, things take an interesting turn when Gu Chan Sung shows up. Once the youngest assistant manager ever to work at a multinational hotel corporation, Chan Sung finds himself forced to manage the Hotel Del Luna because of a deal his father made with Man Wool years ago. 
A stickler for rules and regulations, he's a perfectionist to the extreme but that may be exactly what the sort establishment and its cursed CEO needs.